uh, you know, the Jordan Mailata story, it kind of, I kind of like, um, it's a funny story, I kind of like contacted him um, before he left to the IMG, before all that stuff. And surprisingly, he replied to me, you know, I just wished him the best of luck when he went over and he went through what he went through and, and coming to this combine, you know, I asked him, you know, what are one of the pointers, uh, what are one of the tips that, you know, that, that can help me, you know, progress through to hopefully to the NFL. And he said, you know, just go in with the mindset of not leaving anything in the tank, give them 110% or even 120%. Growing up, my dad coached his older brother, Daniel. And, um, you know, I watched Jordan play a few times and I played with Daniel a few times. You know, they're both very, very big people. Coming through, Jordan was, you know, flying through uh, the NRL stages. And then um, he took this opportunity and he's flying now. Sort of um, opened up the NFL world to sort of Australian prospects and that there is potential down here. And you've seen, you know, once you get him into a system, the three months of training he had there, and then now he's been able to progress onto an NFL roster. I think it definitely gives, you know, a lot of boys that it's a realistic goal. And, you know, there is a good shot and there's sort of a good stock that we have in Australia that could potentially play in probably, or it is the biggest sporting league in the world. But um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely helped. It was pretty inspiring yeah, to hear from him, coming from a rugby background and, and coming from where he's come from. It's, it's, it really is like a confident booster for all the boys here, for, for myself as well. So. Him as a person, he would have done whatever it took to make it in either. You know, and that's that, that's that mentality that you've got to take into these things. You know, that's the mentality I took into today and that's just the difference between people who make it and don't make it, unfortunately. So, yeah, he's a good boy and he's making it, making it work.